Welcome! Today we're going to do a brief introduction to the new and improved Floor Planner. Here are a couple of tips to get you started. So first of all, to get into Floor Planner, you have to have a My Kaplan account. So to use the account that you already have, you can simply log in at the top. The second way you can reach it is through going to Resources and then Floor Planner. It's going to take you to our new and improved landing page. Once here, you're going to need to log in with your My Kaplan account that you already created or create a new one here. I'm going to log in. So let's get started. As you can see, we already have starter rooms for infant, toddler, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, and pre-K classrooms. All of these starter rooms are ERS compliant, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start our first new room. So first you'll click Create New Room. We're going to start from scratch. The first thing you want to do is drag and drop your room into the grid. Once you have it, you can either zoom in or zoom out with these plus and minus keys at the top right corner. We're going to adjust our room dimensions roughly to about 20 by 30. Once you've determined your room size, let me introduce you to the camera. You can drag it to one corner to see your whole room, and then if you grab hold of this circle, you can turn it whatever angle you would like to see in the room. And if you'll notice, your rendered image at the top reflects what the camera shows. And not only can you change angle, but you can come over here and pull this either up to the height of, say, Shaquille O'Neal, and then point it down onto your room. Or you can see the perspective of a baby. So, after you've determined the dimensions of your room, we're going to go back to Build Room Layout. Once here, we're going to add in a door, because we need people to be able to enter a classroom. So let's add it here. If you click on the door, you can see door type, its height, width, even which side the hinge is on, and its opening direction. So, once you have a door, you're probably going to want to add windows. So go back to Build Room Layout. Once there, you're going to pick your windows. Let's just put a couple on our walls. You simply just drag and place. Let's do four. Okay. So as you can see that I'm adding items, they're being reflected in my 3D rendered image. So once we have doors and windows, let's go furnish our room. We have three categories, preschool, toddler, and infant. Under preschool, they each have subcategories, and you just go back to your type to choose which kind of room you're building. Let's say the first thing we want to add is a chair. We can go under preschool and click chair, and it'll give us options. Or we can go to the search bar and type in chair, and it'll give us all of the options. So let's bring in a couple chairs. Once I've brought in my chair, I can angle it the way I want to. I can push the green icon, and it's going to replicate the item. And then you can also determine what angle you want it to face. So let's say we have three chairs. Let's say I added a fourth, but didn't want it. I can simply push the red X and the item is deleted. If I wanted to undo the delete, I can simply push undo. But we're going to keep it deleted. So the next thing we want is a table. You're going to go back to the Furnish Your Room tab. And you have to clear out your search results from before, or you're not going to find what you're looking for. So let's type in table. As you can see, it gives me plenty of options. We're going to bring in the round one by dragging it in. Again, this should reflect in your 3D image. So let's say we want a loft. We're going to have to clear the search results from before, go to toddler, go to loft, and we're just going to bring in our loft. So we bring in a book display, put it in the corner, say we want a storage unit. We're going to bring one of those in. As you can see, it's facing the wrong way, so we'll spin it around. Might replicate that. Put one on the other wall. All right, so we've got some furniture in our room. So the next thing you want to do is you can go to decorate your room. This is really cool because you can paint your walls whatever color you want them to be. We're going to choose a nice calming blue. Now. You can paint one wall at a time, or you can click and drag and paint all of your walls at one time. The next thing you can do is go back to the paintbrush, go back to type, and click carpet. 
you can add carpet to your room. Now let's say we want this natural buckland wool. So now we have carpet and blue walls. If you want to see what materials are in your room, you can go here and click room materials. If you want to see what items, you can click room items. Finally, we can't have this room without having a carpet. Let's go to toddler carpet and add a nice big rug in the middle. Okay, to save your project, you're going to go to save as. Let's just go ahead and name this test one. Um, you can see everyone can see it or you, just you. Um, we're going to leave it on everyone. Now, you'll see it says saving your room. When it's saved successfully, you can click on the blue link in the text to see what your 3D image is going to look like. Now, as you can see, sometimes the room comes up pixelated. If this happens, simply go to the top and refresh your page. Usually it takes about 30 seconds. And voila, there's the difference. So this is your 3D rendered room. If you'll notice, there are white circles on the products. Simply hover over it and you can get product info. So at the bottom of your rendered 3D image, you'll see that there are social icons to share your 3D image with your friends. You can make it private or you can even download the image or edit it or delete it. Up to you. When you scroll down, you'll see a list of the products used above. I'm going to exit out of the tab. So now that you've taken your 3D image, you can click close window and then you want to refresh your page. Once refreshed, you'll see your 3D image here. Now, you can click here on the image to edit your classroom again or you can get a 2D rendered image of your room by clicking 2D room image. That's something you can print out. And you can save easily to your desktop by right clicking and pushing save image as or simply dragging the image to your desktop. The really cool feature about this new floor planner is the product list. Once you click there, you'll see everything that you included in your room and you can simply add it to your shopping cart once you determine your quantities. As you can see, they were added to my cart. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more information, you can go to info at kaplanco.com.